What's good, Gs? Things are about to get really interesting. So simulation theory is gaining traction in the mainstream. And for those that don't know, simulation theory postulates that we live in a simulated reality. Let's say that was the case. Could we not simulate a reality that's more peaceful and has a better quality of simulated life for us all? And if this is a simulation, you are witnessing it create a simulation inside of it. You're watching a matrix create another matrix. And if we're not in base reality, as they say, the quote unquote real world, then the reality they create will be one step further from it. And if you think the entities that manage the simulation will create one that empowers you, just look at their history in this one. Surveillance, control, consolidation of power and money is what we experience here. While the majority of us are divided, fighting amongst each other, or are distracted by things that don't benefit us. This new simulation seems inevitable with the advances in generative AI and photorealistic video generation. It's only a matter of time and the money is behind it. The issue is we are not creating these things consciously and as a collective, and humanity is potentially allowing the programming of a digital prison for itself. These AIs consume a lot of energy and are not as efficient as your brain. That's why some companies are researching incorporating brain cells into electronics to make them more efficient. We are entering the age of biological computers. Sounds like science fiction, but it's not, and you can see how technology can increase if you can save costs in electricity and condense storage. It's not far-fetched to see these tech companies having more biological computers and eventually cyborgs. XAI is a company that's looking to build its computing center in Memphis, and it's probably due to the cheap electricity. So when it comes down to decreasing that cost by an order of magnitude, they'll take it. That's capitalism, folks, so money over everything. That's very close to the idea in the matrix with humans being used for electricity to power the machines, but now human cells can be used to do the computing. They may say you're not using them, so they will. And the last thing is, do you know how they train these cells to work with the technology? By dopamine hits. The same dopamine hits that they know your brain gives you when you use social media. Coincidence?